Hi everyone, hope you're well. Today we'll be doing some simple stretches that you can do on a daily basis throughout your pregnancy to keep all the aches and pains at bay. So once you're ready, let's hop onto the mat and get going. Let us start by coming into an easy cross-legged sitting position. You can sit on a cushion or a yoga block to keep your hips slightly above the knees. This helps in keeping the back straight. Roll your shoulders back and straighten your back. We'll start with some neck stretches. So as you inhale, start looking up and stretch back. As you exhale, bring the chin to the chest and look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Come back to center. Now we look right to left. So as you exhale, look towards the right. Inhale back. Exhale left. Inhale back. Let's do five on each side. Keep breathing with each movement. Last round and back. Now bring the right ear to the right shoulder and then do the same thing towards the left side. Right ear to right shoulder and back and left ear to left shoulder and back. Three more on each side. Last round. Now from here, start taking your head back to roll back and then complete the rotation. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, roll forward. Inhale, back. Exhale, forward. Let's do it in the opposite direction. Keep your eyes open if you start to feel dizzy. Last round. And come back to center. Now we'll do a quick stretch for the shoulders. So bring your hands to your shoulders and let's start rotating the elbows in the backward direction. As you inhale, take the elbows up. As you exhale, bring them down. Three more. And let's reverse the direction. Try to bring the elbows together in front. Last round and relax. Now we'll do a stretch for the hands and wrists. So bring your hands forward and let's just stretch the fingers out as much as possible and then make a tight fist. Stretch and fist. Inhale, stretch, exhale, fist. My fingers tend to get really tired typing or be on the keyboard and phone every day. So we should try to do this small exercise as well. Last two times. And let's do wrist rotations. So let's rotate the wrists in outward direction first. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10, and let's reverse. Let's rotate them inwards. Now we'll do a stretch for the wrists. So hold the right palm with the left and pull it back so that the fingers point down. You should feel a nice stretch in the right forearm. And release, let's do it for the other side. And release. Now let's get down onto the mat. We'll do a quick stretch for our ankles. Extend both the legs forward. So as you inhale, point the toes forward. And as you exhale, bring them back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Let's do 10 of these. And then let's start rotating them in clockwise direction. Remember to keep breathing. And let's reverse the direction. five more try to make the circles as big as possible and we are done now let's come into a tabletop position with our hands under the shoulders and knees below the hips we will do a cat cow stretch now as you inhale extend the spine and look up as you exhale, tuck the tailbone in, curl the spine and look towards the navel. Inhale, extend up. Exhale, curl down, rounding the back. Inhale, up. Exhale, curl down, creating space in the vertebrae. Inhale, up. Exhale, curl down. Last time. Inhale up, exhale, curl down and come back to neutral. Then push your hips back to come into Vajrasana. Widen your knees. You can place a cushion or a yoga block in front. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, start folding forward. Bring your forehead onto the yoga block or cushion to come into child's pose. Make sure there is enough space between your legs for your belly. And let's rest here in child's pose for a few breaths. Slowly bring the hands back and come up. And come down onto the mat. Bring the soles of the feet together. Grab the feet with your hands to come into Baddha Konasana. And we'll just flap our knees up and down a few times in butterfly pose. Inhale, elongate your spine. And let's just do a few flaps of the knees. This is great for stretching the inner thighs. And relax. Now, let's lie down onto the mat, fold your knees and bring the soles of the feet onto the mat. 
place your feet hip distance apart now we are going to do some pelvic tilts which are great for getting rid of any back pain so take a deep breath in and as you exhale try to close the gap between your lower back and the mat and you'll feel your pelvis tilting forward and relax inhale and as you exhale close the gap and relax we'll do three more last time and relax now we'll do setu bandhasana the bridge pose if you have a thick book or a yoga block place it between the thighs to maintain the gap between the thighs bring both the hands on either sides take a deep breath in and as you exhale push into the feet and start raising the hips up to come into bridge pose or setu bandhasana keep pushing both the thighs together into your yoga block or book keep breathing keeping the glutes engaged and then slowly come down one vertebra at a time we'll do three more of these take a deep breath in and as you exhale come up If you don't have a yoga block or a book between the thighs, make sure that your knees are not falling out. And then slowly come down. Last time, inhale. And as you exhale, push the hips up. slowly come down turn to your left side bring the left hand to support your head and the right hand forward to find balance you can fold the left leg as you inhale start raising the right leg straight up sideways and then bring it down and tap it on the floor so we'll do the side lifts 10 times keep breathing and maintain your balance Ten, and let's switch sides. You can just turn around. I'm going to switch sides so that you can see. Fold the right leg. And let's start. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and relax. Finally, we'll do some squats. Squats are great during pregnancy to build core and lower body strength. So, if you are up to it, you should start doing them in the second trimester. We'll be doing two types of squats today. The first one is called the chair squat. In this, bring your feet slightly more than hip distance apart with the toes pointing forward. Straighten your back and hug your navel in to engage the core. You can place your hands on the hips. Take a deep breath in and start pushing the hips back to come into a squat. Make sure that your knees are not going beyond your toes. so keep pushing the hips back 
just go till the point you are comfortable keep the back long if you need you can also place a chair in front of you for support stay here for a breath and then push up to come back let's do five of these inhale come down stay for a breath and come up and down remember never hold your breath during any exercise during pregnancy and up two more inhale down and up last one and up the second type of squats are called sumo squats for this come into a wide legged stance with the toes pointing diagonally out again bring your hands to your hips or you can place a chair in front for support inhale push the hips down to come into a sumo squat stay for a breath keeping the torso long as you exhale push into the feet and come up four more times inhale down and up inhale down and up you can also do this with your hands inhale down and up inhale down and up very good so these were some easy movements and stretches that you can do on a daily basis during your pregnancy hope you enjoyed this and you'll practice them every day